Hey guys, welcome to another lesson of Pro Teachers Dupe. Today I have returning again, Pika. Hey everybody. And we are continuing the Batman Vampire Elseworld trilogy. And I always ask people of this when I do a follow up. Give people a quick summary, Pika, of what happened last time. Last time we we were somewhere in Batman's second year. He was he was plagued by strange dreams about a woman who visited him while he slept, and mm -hmm. and so eventually, while while not even realizing, came to see that Dracula had, or something kind of new serial killer had come to Gotham, and that then turned out to be Dracula. And with Dra and with and with that, Batman went to try to stop him. But was too weak, and until he realized that somehow, while he had suddenly felt, also felt like he was being sick, he was really visited by, at, at night by that strange woman, a vampire herself who had been giving blood to him instead of taking it. And by that, she had been giving him the, uh, the powers of, vam of a vampire without any of the weaknesses. But mm. then, instead of the, but unfortunately, while, while teaming up with her against Dracula, she and the woman ended up dying, and so he was left alone to face of Dracula. And when and in the final battle, when fighting alone, ended up being losing his own blood, and mm. so the, the story ended with Batman being the, being a vampire now himself. Nice. I knew yeah. you were gonna do it. You were gonna do it in such a great delivery. Loved it. Yeah, and that was all improvisation from memory. That was something that I. Even... Oh, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah. no, not, no, no, did need to write it down because I, I try to see, see my strengths and weaknesses, and most of because it's better to read something and then and then uh, and uh, yep. edit it to be, uh, be cohesive. And this was just well, okay. I maybe have, may have. Gotten somewhat better at improvising or doing yep. it off uh, without a script. Yep. But yeah, but here we are going into the follow up where there turned out not all vamp of Dracula's um, family were killed. There are still some of them still out there among the, uh, uh, in Gotham. And so Batman is still going to be hunting them down, utilizing his new vampire strengths while now struggling with the thirst. Mm. But also, Someone is now leading the vampires. Someone from of, Bat of Batman's rogues gallery who is clearly the more insidious of them all. And I think mm. we all know who it is, but we'll yeah. get into that. Yep, with Batman, Bloodstorm. Now, to make this clear, I am using scans, but I do have my own physical copies. They just, things got a bit behind. I wasn't able to gather these scans you know, separately. And unfortunately, this thing's not on DC Universe. Oh, that's now, the, now the, the trade that has all three of them together is, but it's on Ultra, and I'm not going to shell out no 100 bucks for Ultra. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we have an, another one of the introductions about, uh, you know, just gives a summary of what happened before. I think mm -hmm. you did a better job. <laughs> <laughs> as, yeah. we, yep, as we open up, the hour is dark. Or, uh, uh, yeah. Hey, and night cloaks evil in its. Sorry. Right, Reminder for us both. Phones yep. on mute. Yep. And turning off any um, reminders. So hold on. Okay, also now it's the last one. Now it's the last one. And but my yeah. work phone also on mute. Yep. But yeah, then Batman shows up and he was saying every shadow except one. The one shred of darkness that merely looks evil. Me. Hey, the the holes were and and will smoke and smoke for less than a minute. Yeah, so he actually did get shot, but because he's a vampire, that was nothing. Uh. Bullets. Nice try. The and the chamber of a gun holds no terror or pain, not for one who's already dead, slain by the undead. It's over, but they're spill and they're spilling from the trash. My worst fear. So they find someone else who is dead with a whole bunch of bite marks into them. Suck oh. greedily dry. And he says, Catania and I killed their leader, destroyed Dracula himself. But the sacrifice of Wayne Manor did not claim all of his family. We missed at least one nest of the undead. And 
with each set of punctures slightly different, and, and there are at least three predators in the nest. Whatever and, and whatever the true number is, I cannot let it grow. I'm long dead, reborn in rage and lust. I was now a vampire myself, but this one was not awakened to the horror of her change. Forgive me. To death, true death, in peace. The muggers are finished, but my work only began. Now, which way? I suppose dead ahead is appropriate. But what would Freud say now? Oh, or Dante, for that matter. Oh, children of the night, where are you? Where's all that cheap music, sweet music you made? Hardly what I call sweet. But I'm, but I'm far bigger vermin. I'm looking for, eh? Ha ha! Here you are! Half rotted, foul smelling, sunken eye, but fanged and all. My, my, getting a little log in the tooth, are we? Wah! Holy water! And an even holier stick and stick stick. And <laughs> there are ways of, to get rid of that cross, and yet you laugh. Of course! Ha ha ha! I would, I couldn't live without laughter. Even in the face of our kind of death, you never heard of you if you were in a jugular vein. <laughs> oh. oh, that's a kind of bland words. Yep. Why? Because what you contempt and contemptuling and, and contemplating is ridiculous. The pinnacle of inane, short-sighted absurdity. As a matter of fact, you're nothing more than vaguely intelligent fleas, anthropomorphic leeches, mosquitoes walking erect, stupid bloodsuckers without a cause. You've lost your leader, and now you can't seek back your own greedy fangs. What are you? Sure, and, and what are you? Sure, you could do the obvious thing and slurp my cold, thin blood. You could turn me into exactly what you are, another mindless slave to bloodlust. Functioning like an animal and only in darkness, completely helpless and vulnerable during the day. Or you could forgo my blood, and it's not good. Trust me, I tasted it and embraced me for what I am. You're a new leader, a hmm. new leader, just as dark as you, in my own in 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 imitatable way, but brilliant in my darkness. Makes sense, doesn't it, Dolts? You need someone like me, especially when you go up against the bad guy. And I'm definitely not talking about Dracula. <laughs> I see you're tempted and not totally hmm. mindless. Am I right, my wonderfully hitter and hideous text? The name is Crutch. Did it admit it, Mr. Crutch? You know I can blaze your lure trail of blood. Besides, I'm the only one in Gotham with better taste than you. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. So yeah, seriously, Doug Bowling does a great Joker. Mm, yeah, looking at that, looking at it from this, well, from that yeah. way, it's been, it's still been pretty. Um, uh, what's the proper English word? Um, ambiguous on a, on a, on where the Joker's then got the idea to take over the vampires. I, I also I, I try to think the the fashion he is he has with the. Long he hair, matched the guy from the last book. He matched the guy from the last book, but that guy, he said stuff that didn't sound Joker like. Yeah, it didn't, it didn't look like. I'm trying to see that the the fashion that Joker is trying to is going for here. I'm trying to see if it if it tries to parody some vampire hunters or some other. Uh, possibly. Who knows? I'd have to ask John uh, um, um, Kelly Jones himself. Uh. Yeah. But yeah, so now Gordon, Gordon is still um, a little shaken up um, about everything, you know, what, what had happened before. Yeah, considering he was, the da he was the damsel in distress at the end of the first story, <laughs> I wouldn't yeah. be surprised. Um, but yeah, and hold on, Sir and and because it was a vampire, already decomposed before it was staked and beheaded. I saw it all with my own eyes. The homeless throat slash victim. A woman feeling no pain. As she took five slugs from my gun. Dracula himself and a man. My friend. Transformed to his namesake. I saw it. Winged Batman and all. 
and I still don't believe it. But it's true, and it just won't end. Muggers dump and dumped at mid- Yikes, look at that! Yeah. Dumped at midnight by the jailhouse door, babbling gibberish about a giant bat monster swooping from the darkness, and now these serial killer stakings. Victims twice over, murdered uh, once in horror by supernatural predator, and killed again in, re- in release by the darkest angel this city has ever known. The nightmare is far from, all, and from over. Vampires are real, but thank God not all of them are evil. Mm. Thank God for one of them. Now, also, Wayne Manor was totally wiped out. Yeah, I remember. Yep. Sir. Yes, Alfred, it's me. Your sustenance, sir. Thank you. The thirst is upon me. Now, I want to make this clear. He still doesn't have any of the weaknesses yet because he has not taken human blood. No. Oh. But he has the thirst. That was, it turns out, the downside of losing his blood. He has the thirst, but his soul is still untainted. Yeah, so pretty much that uh, with, the, <laughs> with the gift that Tanya gave him in getting the vampire powers, that, that could have kept him pure and all until he lost, the, lost, the, lost his blood. So if Dracula had not gone to bite him in the neck, then, he, then this yes, would not he would be have a problem. Been, yeah, this would not have been a problem at all. At least as far as we know. Hmm. Yeah. Because oh, he was still tells. alive. He was still alive. But now hmm. he is undead. So the thirst is going to be quenching at him. And this is going to be a fight that, yes, Tanya was able to do it, but it took her a long time and not battling enemies or anything. She and, she just, didn't even, and she couldn't even leave him any like notes or research that she was. She oh, no, oh, no, she did. She did with her sustenance. Hmm. The, the plasma, but unfortunately, it's not enough. It's enough when you're out in seclusion, when you can wean yourself off of it. But Batman being Batman, he can't stop. Yeah. So he cannot take a break to wean himself. Hmm. Um, even says, the sir, a thirst that knows no end for those who were and who cheat death. An obsession so vital and compelling, it will un, it will ensure, ensure for, inter, for eternity. Yeah, um, thus far, I've been able to counter it with the serum, the blood substitute. Tanya's second gift to me, made necessary by her first and more personal gift, the gift of Vampiric Drake, the means to defeat Dracula himself. Now, of course, that statement makes it seem like she would have had the source anyway, but we know that's different. But it could be mm-hmm. Batman deducing everything. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, he didn't know Tanya very long. No, he did but... not, but because of how vampires are, he still sees her one of his one of his loves because of you know, mm. you know the seductiveness of a vampire. Yeah, and kind of also lo- looks at how emotionally approving Bruce is or how Batman is and who he who he, let, he ends up let, letting close to himself and not. Uh, okay, that makes then, it pretty, sorry. Yeah. Alfred then yeah. makes these new weapons for him. Perfect throwing um, daggers with an interior on uh, the interior being made of silver. Hmm. And he basically feels like he can make half a dozen per day, but he said, shall I shoot for a dozen? I love that smug smile. Hmm. He is very proud of what he worked on. Hmm. Must be. If it's yep. something that, uh, if it's something useful and it, and he made it, then yeah, that's the hubris of a creator. Yeah, it's a perfect good replacement for them making just them trying to make just pure silver batterings. Yeah. Uh, Cause it also has oak mixed into it. Perfect for yeah. staking. Hmm. All right, hmm. plasma perverts. Even, okay, basically jo- and Joker's big plan is instead of just going after random um people oh um homeless people, instead he wants and he's going to want them to go after Criminals, the mob, anyone there out there, and creatures going to be his, the competition. Yeah, the competition, yeah. Basically, saying we're going for far richer blood. Now, Bruce is still having dreams from T- with Tanya. Tanya, you, you're back. Yes, but how? Hush. 
it is enough that I am here. Yes. But then he has a dream of killing uh, her because of, again, the thirst. No! A nightmare ripped from hell. And now the day is done. Time to rise from the sleep of the, of the uh, sepulcher. Uh, so he sees the signal. You wanted me, Gordon? And it seems there's a serial killer at large. Stakes through the hearts, followed by a decapitation. First in an alley, then in the park, another by the wharf. It won't stop there, Gordon. Tanya and I missed some of them. If I can't hunt the rest by night, I, might, I may need daylight help. Either way, until they're all eliminated, the serial killer will continue its work on each new victim. Daylight help? Serial killer. Yep. Yeah, the entire it's nest of the undead can be taken out while they sleep. I was afraid this. Afraid it was real. You were there, Gordon. Dracula himself almost killed you. Still seems like some bad dream. A nightmare, but no dream. If you do need, and if I, I do need you, can you handle it? I'll put together a small team. People I can trust. Good. Let's hope it doesn't yeah. come to that. Amen. Because it'll take more than trust to smash wood through pale things, sleeping coffins and sewers. More than trust and more than terror. Maybe even more than love. I love this. Running Gossam's rackets makes me a busy man, Cretch. If this joker wanted a meet, he could... And now, that, that thing right there makes it seem like no one knows that much about the joker. So this is the joker coming about. He might have had running with Batman, but not the mob. Or maybe the, it, is, it is the second year, or actually yeah. it was the first story was second year, and there is now, no make, telling this, how no, many... Clear, though. Joker, Batman and Joker do know each other. Okay. So this is not his first dealing with the Joker, but so but my guess is he's probably had only one or two dealings with Joker. Hmm. So Joker so hasn't like done any of his plans with the mob. So maybe like something like the first appearance with the, with the mob where he was hunting, hunting the mobsters, or maybe like, like the man who laughs story that the dog was. Yeah. Like something like that kind of debut. Yep, I love this. The Joker is well, you got to understand the jo- and the Joker, Mister Cardona. Like, he's brilliant, right? But he's also, well, the fact is, he's strange, see? If it, was, it wasn't my boss, I'd write him off as crazy. Maybe eat him for breakfast. Boo! And boo! <laughs> and the jokey, ah! What's the matter? Hey, what's wrong? What's the matter? I'm okay. Just something I drank. Bad wine. Yeah. Or maybe it's bad acting. Maybe you're wired. And your tape recorder's leaking, huh? Burning you under that jacket with battery acid, huh? No, it's just I took a long time clawing out of my grave. Kiss to Santa. I know. Hung- hungry gentlemen? No, me, I'm famished. Chink. Arr! Oh, geez, that always creeps me out. Just seeing that. Ugh. No bone. Yeah. It's still the muscle, the flesh. Yeah, and with the, and the, and it's still. A- it's kind of like a, it's it, it walks a fine line between very grotesque and a, and a somewhat cartoonish with the, this art style. I'd Definitely. Imagine if if we, if we had a different artist, then how much different would it look then? Oh, I know, but I think this art style works magnificently for this. Yeah, for this it does. Even though, and seriously, I wouldn't expect anything less. Any less. Now, of course, this guy he hated blood, so he's like, "Blow them away!" I. Too much garlic in your bodyguard, Cardona, especially for an insulting little kink like me. That is what you called me, huh? Uh, now you're stucky with in style. No more stewardess for this growing family of fags. From now on, we live, or at least undie, like kings. And the gaudier, the better, especially for an art an artillery decorator like you, Mr. Cratch. <laughs> And sure enough, then they find out about what had happened beforehand, how they just died. Like, no crosses. Means the ma- and, and near the mausoleum. And Cardona was Catholic. According to Gordon, cause of death was the same as all 404. Loss of blood. Sort throat runes. So they realize what's going on. So, oh, there's a guy who had his face ripped off. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Of course, the coroner tried to fix him. But yeah, he goes in, fights them all, but then vermin, even before death. Like, 
How can you kill me? You're a vampire yourself. I'm not like you, Cardona. You're, you're, you're somehow better than the rest of us? Yes. Not anymore, you ain't. The old Batman never killed. Now you're a one-man holocaust, killing every night. Eliminating you from Gotham is not killing. You're not even alive. Neither are you, but it feels the same, don't it? <laughs> feels better. You're a dead. Ditto, gink. I'm not like you. I don't take blood. No, but you sure do spill it. Ha! <laughs> Those fancy wooden knives. You don't even need a hammer for your steaks. Makes it faster that way, huh? Let uh, uh, let's you t and take out what? Five, ten, twenty of us a night? I do not drink blood, but you want to. <laughs> Rich, yeah, that sharp. look on Batman's face there. Yeah, that sharp blood. A sweet tang of your tongue. Gushing in your mouth, flooding your throat, quenching your thirst, that awful thirst, filling you with life, the sacred forbidden life of another, so much better than communion wine or, no, I don't drink blood, but you will, you will get your lips wet, and you know it, sooner or later you'll give in to the red, no, yes, because it's everything you always pretended to be. For real. The real thing, baby. And we ain't talking no cola, because now you're a vampire bat. A blood junkie. No, say no all you want, but I see the sweat and the twitch eating at you ever and ever since you turned. Ha! Tempting the natural predator at you. Trust me, babe. There's no way you can resist forever. Me? I hated the sight of blood. Even a paper cut made me queasy. But that was before... Now the sweet the stuff is juice, nectar, and there ain't nothing I would do and wouldn't do to get more and more and No And his blood explodes. So much of it. So red and No and no Don't look at it. Don't listen to his still echoing words. Just do what must be done and flee the following and the and the flowing crimson through and bloodless and and byways of shadowed peace. But no matter how fast or far I run, my mind cannot slip the scarlet l uh, uh, lure. Death mocks me. Life tempts me. Thirst haunts me. And together, the end and the three curse me. Facing Dracula was easy compared to this new struggle. Forced to fight when I become even, uh, even as I, I prevent others from becoming what I am. Alone. Taken without predate and, pred and predation. Heat or struggle, the serum is too weak, and Tanya herself is dead. So who will help me now? Who will even and dare face me? Who will brave the horrors of my he and my hell? Dark night, dark night, Miss Kyle. Careful on your way home. Don't worry about me, Carl. My apartment's only seven blocks away. Beautiful. Uh, are you following me? No. Hunting you and running won't help. Uh, bye. My name is Cretch, Miss Kyle, and I want your blood. Now he ends up turning. You know how they turn into where into werewolves? He does that after her. Oh yeah, the, they can do turn into animals. Yep, and yeah, then he bites her. He doesn't take well, her blood or give any of his because he's in his wolf form. Uh. But yeah, it falls into the river, and of course they hate running water. Oh yeah, that's no, that, that's a. Thing with the <laughs> oh, ooh, bit me. The thing bit me. Oh, that was done. That's for... a pose. Yeah, that was done <laughs> for more than one reason. Right. But then when she makes her way there, all of her cats are around her, and well, you know what happens when bitten by a werewolf. Yeah. But she's Valentine. gonna be a were cat. Yeah. Oh, look at this. A fish, an exploding fish. Yeah, I can see the choke in it. <laughs> what the? So similar thing. They make their way up there, and he even says like, "Um, but be careful about the blood on the carpet, Cretch. If you say so, Joker." So he might he ends up shooting him. So much for unbloody carpets, Joker. But I can still turn him. And as he then tells him, "Oh, look at that face from Joker." Sends him uh, after one of her girls to why to make up for what happened on the bridge. Uh, three girls reported missing in the last two nights. And, and, and three girls reported missing the last two nights. 
related. All three are dancers in a club owned by Manny the Shark. This guy. Uh. So that's yep. where Selena, Selena was coming from. Like she was a. Uh, I don't think that there's a there was mention of yeah, where she, she was, was more coming. of a dancer than a prostitute. I think. Okay, it's a um, change without a retcon or something like that. Because if this is supposed to be that. I'm trying to think about this. This is an Elseworld story, but still, it, it's trying and try to see that it's doing his there own was world, a. Though. It's clearly it, its yeah, own yeah. world. Yeah, yeah, but but the, but the starting point where it it starts from, like like try to imagine like the year one Batman or the or some other origin story Batman story that those stories happen and then they move on to this setting. Yeah, but um, but of course they're trying to figure out about what to do. You know, like they and they're always curious about this could get too big. But then what does Joker say that after they um, deal with Gotham, they'll branch out and go national? Huh. That's terrifying. It is. But at least it's thinking ahead. <sighs> mm-hmm. But yeah, then, um, meanwhile, it was Manny the shark and everything. There's one woman. She hasn't turned yet. In fact, he wants, like, then just tilt your head, babe, and show me some nice and throw. Release her, vampire. Huh? Hey, ha! Spoiled your aim, bat freak. He's faster than your his size would make you think. Nice oh. club, Maddy, but I could use some fish, eggs, and champagne out. Yoi! The Joker. Oops. And, and joint okay. just got too kinky for me. Put it on my okay. tab. Gone. Okay, so this scene at, at, acknowledges that, yeah, they have met before. Yep. If Batman recognizes the Joker as the Joker. Yep. Oh, and now, now the Joker has gotten his hair cut. Yep, a little trimmed. Probably because I, I think he was home, uh, str- on, out on the streets before. Hmm. God, but if he's leading them now, their numbers could be a legion. Uh, explains the changes in tactics, the shift from homeless victims to mo- rich mobsters, and the girl, her throat. It's I'm worse at times like this when I'm hunting or fighting, my blood high, the temperature almost irres- and temptation almost irresistible. I could feel why he'd want her. Almost taste it. Gotta fight it. Face it down. Get out of here. Ah, find some other kind of work. But then he look. Oh, look at Salida. Hmm. I've changed to some kind of cat creature, a monster like the thing that chased me to the bridge. Its bite did this to me, and it will pay in blood. Huh. Bad, bad news, Joker. We've been taking hits last few nights. Bad hits. A lot of the families die. Look, blood media. Huh. Hits. Yeah. How could you hit a vampire? Who? The Batman. Then it was him in the Blue Moon's back room. Not one of Manny's friends in some costume. And he's still alive? Actually, word is he's like me now. Undead. Might have known. The minute I get into vampire, so does he. All those stories about a bat monster swooping down on criminals. I was just hoping they were misidentification of our people. Some of them, maybe, but not all. Manny the shark's dead, and so is Cardona. For good this time, the Batman's out there, Joker, and he's staking us down. And then we'll have to take him down, won't we, Cretch? Some sort of trap. Hmm. Some kind of wild card to take him completely by surprise. Monster. Speaking gotta, of surprises. Yep, gotta find the monster and rip him into shreds. Now she sees Batman for a moment, sinks at him on uh, one of the vampires lying in wait for me. No, not like the others. Some new manner of night creature. A woman, some kind of cat woman. Go and go on, do it. You turned me into this thing. Now end it. And she could speak, but you're wrong. I've never seen you before. It wasn't you. Then you're his victim too. There's more than one of them. And one of them. I'm hunting them down, eliminating them. Then let me help you. You're different, but you may still be one of... No, I'm not like the one who did this to me. I don't attack innocent people. You attacked me? You hardly look innocent. I mm. thought you were him. I saw the bat wings and figured if he could turn into a wolf... A wolf? Some sort of werewolf, I think. And he bit me. Isn't that what happened to you? He didn't suck your blood? You mean like a vampire? No. If yeah. anything, he tried to eat me. But I got away. And then when I look at the moon, you don't feel the urge to suck the blood of others. The only blood I want is for revenge <laughs> on the one who attacked me on all of the. Well, no, because remember, werewolves never had that. 
And again, he didn't drain her blood. Or oh kid, yeah, yeah. Blood. no, another doing. Yeah, no, it's true. Yeah, yeah. Where, I think it's werewolves that. The... <sighs> so in other words, if a vampire's in their wolf form and they bite someone, but without um, taking or giving, it'll turn them into a were whatever. Hmm. Yeah, and with werewolves, it's, it's actually the. Okay, but, but, this, but since we're talking about a vampire who turned into a wolf and not an actual werewolf, then it's... Uh, yeah, yeah, but... She has sentience in the were cat yeah. form. Yes, and again, it's convenience. Uh. But um, anyway, just leave now. I said I wanted to help you. Get out of here. Go before I change my mind. One he second. is fearless. Yep. And I, now, I like this. It's their first meeting, but it's going off pretty similarly to how it's gone before, just without her robbing. Mm. Yeah, technically she is, well, not doing anything illegal, so... Well, not the, yet, not, and, yeah, and she's not going to here. Yeah, uh, so, yeah, this is pretty much what she's trying to do is somewhat justified. Yep, I have, my name is uh, Kaya. Selena Kyle, the only one in Gossam, if you do change your mind. Now, Batman's been trying to improve the serum, but it's no use. Tanya, it's centuries <laughs> to perfect her serum. There's no way I can improve it overnight. So I just realized, for one of the first times, Doug Mowick is not writing Bat God. Hmm. He can't just miraculously come up with a cure or a way to improve the serum. Other versions would, but not here. Yeah, they did kind of but you now remember yeah. Ari Arian you remember her yeah I remember but I remember different look for her asked last, last time like is she based on someone like who Doc Mock would, would have, probably, probably know or probably uh, or, well because she doesn't exist in the mainstream comics so she's right, only right. native in this Series. This particular one, but in in a way, you needed a ki- one character for this type of thing because that this is clearly enough a Batman who doesn't know all about you know mythology or these type of creatures of the night. Yeah, and he does not have any proper allies to help with the. And this allows for word dumping and a you know narr- you know, fa- you know info dumping. Mm. Arian, tell me about were creatures. I knew I felt that draft again. And I assume you're referring to the and to those said to take the form of their animal totem. Usually a wolf, but not always a wolf. Indeed not. Vampires supposedly transform into bats. But in India, for example, where tigers are more prevalent. Where cats? Yes, while well, other cultures favor other creatures. Where apes, bears, crocodiles, right through the entire bestiary of predators. And must there, and must these were creatures be evil? Dear me, I realize it comes on during your work shift, but you mustn't completely neglect Midnight Madness Monster Theater. Just last night, they showed The Wolfman, Lon Chaney Jr., 1940, the story of a tormented man whose heart was pure and who did not choose to be bitten by a werewolf, but who nevertheless became a a wolf creature himself. And when the wolf bane bloom and the moon was full, why this link to the moon? Why does it cause the change? Who knows? Some supernatural alchemy triggered by the moon's radiation, the magical properties of silver light. Silver, by the way, is supposedly the only element capable of killing a werebeast. Ugh. Still not big into the supernatural explanations, eh? Not rational enough for you? Uh. My uh, my life is founded on deduction, Arian. A meaningless process when, and be, when the rules become random. Yes. When you first came to me about vampires, you accepted their existence only when couched in scientific terms. Some sort of mutating venom carried in their saliva and injected into each victim by fang. It embodies at least a semblance of logic. Then, and, then, and why not the same venom basis as a scientific rationale for shapeshifters? Perhaps. But why should the moon's influence? Ask the police. The violent crime soars on nights of the full moon, does it not? Yes. Phenomenon well known but little understood, and letter lovers become more uh, amorous during the full moon. I'm not mm-hmm. sure that's been proven, Orion. Wait, the moon's gravity affects ocean tides, and if our bodies are seventy percent liquid, could the moon create tides within us? Go on. Suppose there's some substance mm-hmm. in the bloodstream, hormones, enzymes, or adrenaline in criminals and lovers, and venom in victims of werebeasts. 
Wouldn't this substance in the blood be subject to the moon's pull? Wouldn't it rise like the tides? You're good, Orion, but I'm not sure I'd buy it. Hell, I'm not sure I'm even sell I I'm selling it. Maybe the moon is simply a psychological uh, a catalyst for some mysterious transformation process akin to biofeedback. Or maybe it's all nonsense. Thank you. You're actually satisfied by that? Validated. I was satisfied of where creatures existed before I darkened your window. Vampires too, it seems. Personal experience? Very personal. Why is it you're always ending up giving me the creeps? You study supernatural, Arion. I'm living it. You saved the city, didn't you? But in the process, you became a fallen angel yourself. I am not a... Why did you really come here? I need to know if a vampire can resist blood with or without help. Bad question. Blood serves as the vampire's strongest urge, that which defines him. And you're asking? I'm asking, Arion, because I need an answer. An answer or hope? Both. Very well. But first, a question of my, of my own. Am I in danger right now? No. Are you? Yes! Then may whatever pass for God in your heart take mercy on your soul. That is your answer! There are myths about the selfless love of a woman easing the compulsion, but in the end, a vampire is alone, taking blood not because he wants to, but because he has no choice, because ultimately he can do nothing else. You're wrong! She must be wrong. Why did I tell the truth? Because I'm a fool, that's why. A dangerous fool. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Again, I love this struggle Batman's going through. Yeah, these these kind of psychological factors, they pretty much are what elevate and make make some of these more interesting to go through. Because when, when there is struggle, when there is conflict, when there is something that they actually need to work and fight against, that is what engages the reader better. And yep. Ready, or not, yep. Ready or not, daddy-o, here I come. <laughs> Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. Big time. And, uh, how have you sinned, my son? I have flooded the streets of Gotham with rich red stuff, Venice with blood, and now ply those streets in vigorous strokes. What are... Ah, what's the matter, Father? Collar too tight? <laughs> As, uh, basically he's going to turn the church into a trap for Batman. Uh, There's no way to fix it. Yeah. I've become a junkie. Addicted to that which I've never even tasted. And nothing can assuage my need. Nothing can take its place. I brought your sustenance, sir. You haven't taken for um, for any for. Don't you understand, Alfred? It's not enough anymore! Nothing's enough. Nothing but the one thing I can't have. Good Lord, sir. What's have you? Get out of here, Alfred. Now! But, sir, if you need by, don't tempt me! Just get out! Yes, sir, I... I shall leave forthwith, even on my knees, like a beast, it's still not enough, not nearly enough. Of course, then Alfred goes to Gordon about the wow. thing, how he's afraid of this. Now, we already know this thing. If he eats an animal, it doesn't count. But oh, it yeah. almost does. If you notice, his, for a moment, his face actually goes pale. Oh, yeah. So so it's it's compare it's with uh, this and... It taints yeah, his soul, that... but it doesn't corrupt his soul. Yeah. I'm trying to say if we've been doing the... Yeah. yeah. Afraid we're losing him. Tanya, why did you die? I can't do it alone. And if I'm denied help from you, then it must come from another. <sighs> Over here. I, I do This reminds me a little bit about... Uh... What? I'm thinking about the vampires and the, and the blood. This somehow reminds me about the... Um... I, it was two years ago when I re read the Witcher books, or I yeah. just listened to the audiobook version. You know, you know Regis. Yep. Uh, no, I, 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 to be fair, I have the Witcher book games. I've never, I've not played them yet, and I have not read oh. the books. Okay, yeah. Well, there was that the, the, the one who is in the in the Wine and Blood DLC, who is who is a vamp, who, who is a vampire who supposedly or or not supposedly, but it's just. Was was pretty much was like like all the others, and and then some during summer raid, but was fell into a well and was fifty years down there, just tra trapped without without any blood. <laughs> pretty much got himself clean that way. <laughs> but Batman doesn't have any of this. Just like Tanya yeah. went into the woods, doesn't have that. Mm. But yeah, I can't face it alone. You're burning up. Fever. 
come with me back inside. Got to have your help, or the help can wait. Right now, you need rest. You're not, only when I see the moon. Funny thing, my name is Selena. It means child of the moon. Feeling Don't better? Sleep. Yes, I am. No, they did not sleep. They slept next to each other. Oh. Um. So just the comfort of a woman. Oh, okay. So I'm glad I, and glad I could help. But as for that other assistance, tracking down the monsters, I'm afraid I have to cancel out, at least until the moon rises again. And I can't go out till dark myself. Then let's draw the curtains and sleep in. It's worse okay, than I that... fear, Commissioner. Yep, what? Hmm. Again, it's not a no. matter of love, although he yeah. is feeling attracted to her. Hmm. But it's just the comfort. Yes, man. Okay, you notice he's completely over. under control. Hmm. Turns out yeah, Alian was looks, right. Yeah, almost, it almost looks normal. Yep. But yeah, of course he's like, he could take care of himself, Alfred. He always has. He's always avo avoided the sunlight, too. But until now, it was never fatal. I can't imagine him dead. Not for real. Nor I, Commissioner. But the fact remains. Want me to put out an APB? No, he would never contend that, nor would it do any good. I suppose I don't really want you to do anything. I just can't, couldn't face it alone. He faces it alone, Alfred, every night. Indeed, Commissioner. But now it may well prove the end of him. And end of our first set and set, gents. So as they head back to the dressing room, let's hear it for the quality quintet of Holly, Candy, Bambi, Tita, and Rose. Oh, no, that's not joke. Joker. That's just a yeah, regular that's someone guy. else with a gold door. Yep. But yeah, they're ready to feast. Why here? They've begun prying on certain women, nightclub dancers, and this is the home of, of a monster who runs the clubs. Uh, you sure you're up for this? <laughs> Can't wait. But soon, oh geez, the poor ladies. Oh, but, apple but in soon, the mouth. Yep. Which every. Almost every vein. She loses it as they go after all of them, taking them all yeah, down. Probably going by the motivation of that could be me lying down there. Yep. The two women, the victims, already drained Selena, dead but infected. Must we do it to them too? If not now, then later. And after they've riven to prey on new victims, to death in peace. All right. You can you can wait under the moon. While well, I finish, I was right. No more random predata and predations. Their tactics are more organized now by the Joker. The Joker, he's a vampire too? Doesn't matter. He's led that. So the Joker's been around now for the denizens of Gotham to know. Mm. If we go by the first yep. appearance or the uh, man who laughs or the stories that the inspired man who laughs where he went after the yep. mobsters who controlled Ace Chemicals, then a well, Joker made himself pretty public in that story. So, well, in the, well, in the um, revival, the re the remake of that one that Ed uh, Brubaker did, it was the rich men of Gos Gotham, okay. not the okay. mobsters. Okay, well, okay, but that okay, was but, but that came after this. But that came after this. Yeah, it came after this. But but but, but still, think about the um, the stories that inspired it. it. It was pretty much kind of similar. The Joker may have had done some public attacks. Yep. Oh, I love this. And now the mobsters have literally become what they've always been. Vampires bleeding the city dry. I love that. Uh. So, yeah, like, the vast majority of them must be eliminated before dark tomorrow. And for that, we'll need daylight help. And sure enough, he con contacts them and, said that, and wants them to do that team that they want. Hmm. Now, I could see out of necessity Bruce falling for Selena. But yeah. notice, no, they're just cuddling. Mm, yes. I, I need still looks pretty hug. weird when she yep. is on a cloth and Brood is still wearing the costume. Yep. I need, I need you to hold me now, more than ever, and I you. Uh, uh, and for just a moment, this moment, I don't care if night never comes. So, yeah. They, um, thanks to their task force, they go and take out all of them while they're asleep. Because oh. that's the perfect time to do it. Yeah, it is. I had no idea. Like, butchery. I think I'll be going home now, Alfred, to be sick. 
And same as the other five compounds, Joker. Every last one staked and beheaded. We were stupid to listen to you, to live large in all those in these mob houses. He knew exactly where to send the cops or whoever wiped us out in a single day. Shut up, Critch. How many are left? Just the ones who moved into the church basement. Counting me, that's 15 of us. Damn! In one day, all of them are wiped out. Yeah. Great scalable work. Yep. So, yeah, they start following them over to one of it, thinking, like, long enough for the Joker to make plans. What kind of plans? Depending on how many are left, they'll either fight or flee. So they go in ready to attack them. But it was a trap. I hate the panel above. Yep. Yeah, it looks like he's shouting, but he's clearly whispering. Like, follow how do you them. whisper with the mouth open like this? I know. They'll follow them. But yeah, but it turns out they have crossbones, each with wooden stakes. Basically, they've learned from Tanya's tactics. Mm-hmm. But leading yeah. to a fight, like, all right. I'll get together and feel right. I'll dig the redder and rock all night. Suck out a jugular. <laughs> the Joker, more insane than ever. Blood mad. I don't believe it. They all miss with the crossbow. And now they're dropping like woozy mosquitoes gorged on a winnow. Living large made the bloodsuckers soft. Thirteen down already and only two left. Curse you, Joker. Even his trap is a disaster. Gotta get out of here. Transform to my wolf shape. But she goes after him and takes his heart. Huh. I, well, that showed a lot of heart, Crutch. Idiot. But and now there's only one sucker left, and Bats has her cornered. Proving yet again, if you want something done right, you'll have to do it yourself. But she takes the stake. Like the long night. It was good while it lasted. No, not even silver. And like, Rah! to death, Selena, in peace. Tonight's wait, video. Wait a minute. What? So, not even Silver. So, it so was. No, wait, well, they, well, basically, Alian was going <laughs> off of the lore and what she knew of the lore. This just proved that no, but simple stake to the heart will do it. Hmm. Okay. It was still to the heart. Yeah, no taking it out and. Uh, okay, yeah, none out. of that. No, no. She is because she wasn't undead. Remember that. She's not undead. Hmm. But still, tonight's menu, stakes for two. You killed her, Joker. Killed my last hope. Uh-oh. Let, it looks like time for my last ditch and hope. As he makes it, made it. Beating the final trap with my own body and blood. Sorry to squelch your search, bat babe. But communion is hereby canceled. Freeze, bloodsucker, and eyeball all the crosses. Crosses coming out the wazoo! I see them, Joker, but they don't bother me in the least. They don't? Why not? Because my heart is still pure. It, it is? Thanks to the woman you murdered. I have yet to taste human blood. But, but you're a vampire! You freaks gorge on plasma! You bloat yourselves bloody! Only the weak ones. Ha! Holy water! Yes. Refreshing. No, you can't have all the strengths of a bloodbath and none of the weaknesses. But I can, thanks to the selfish love of a woman. You killed her, my long night soul companion. You killed her, Carrie, the one and only thing that kept me sane. And now you die. Sure, go ahead, wet your beak, bat. Sink your fangs into my clammy, warm belly flesh. But don't forget, my lips red stuff black as your pure heart. Silence! A single blow snaps his neck. His head flops back, exposing a pale, expensive throat. Broken, but still pulsing. It taunts and tempts me. I fu- so he's still alive! Okay, so it's the... Yeah, how did it go? Broken, like... but still pulsing. Ah. Uh... And yeah, the, fall, yeah, the brain I, can keep bodies still alive uh, for how some many time. Yeah. yeah, I fall, I fall on, on, on it, lips unsheathed, fangs savage hunger. No, cannot succumb, must fight it. And yet, Selena's love was her and was all that held me back, kept me strong. Now that love is forever lost because he destroyed it. And so, in the end, rattling his laugh, laugh, <laughs> the Joker wins. Cardona was right. 
The blood is ecstasy. Everything I've craved, everything I need, I gulp it greedily, lost in the rhythm of sucking in the rich textures and tangy taste, transfixed, transported, and damned. No! No, 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 no. Forgive me, Tanya. Forgive me, Salida, for I have... Ah! The crosses! Too late now. Must work swiftly. One last dagger of wood for my first and only victim. Slay the undead before he dies and escape sanctity profound. But still I burn. Tanya took blood, my blood, from strength and love, empowering me with the means to face Dracula. But I've succumbed to weakness and hate, an act of vengeance, rage, and, pred and predation. <sighs> and now, n I now I am now no better than Dracula himself. Doused by red rain, I flee the church. Damned by the curse, I flee the dawn. And doomed to my, my, by my deed, I flee the blood. Alfred, I have failed, but work of the serial killer must go on, at least for one final victim. Notify Gordon, you've been a good man these many years. Now you must be better. Do not fail me when I need you most. Oh, sir. Uh, the uh. note's wrong about one thing, Alfred. He did not fail. But as for the rest, we must trust him, and we must love him. By only then will we have the strength to obey him. To death. In Peace, oh. peace, forever. Yeah. How was that? It was tragic. I'm better than the first. Hmm. I think this is the best one of the trilogy because of the struggle, that internal struggle Batman has. Yeah, I agree. This expanded on the first one in ways that made it work. Yeah, this was what it, this this is something that, that the good sequel is pretty much expected to do. It builds on from the first part that came before it, without any of the setup, without any of the explanations. It just dives right in, hmm. <laughs> in, in man, manner of speaking. But Joker, yeah. oh boy, this was an evil Joker. Yes, yes. But yeah, the way they rehandle things, like Catwoman. She was never Catwoman before. She didn't need to be Catwoman until she literally became one. Yeah. Yep. Think, oh, so much of this. Okay. What would you say overall was what you're like and any quibbles you had? Well, the struggle that Batman had to go through, that is basically uh, one of the huge strengths. Because yep. it's, it's basically the... Even when you when you know when you know that it's coming, it, you, you observe the struggle, the the, the psychological strain and a, and a willingness to, uh, in, in going on without it. And then even even when it is when he gave in, it was it, that was even that was handled so that he tried to fight it off. He was he was already down there. Then he yep. pulled himself out, not even trying to. And then yeah, because there was nothing left. He had nothing <sighs> left to help him. And I, again, the fact that Batman, his own nature, his own trying to protect Gotham is what doomed him. Because he couldn't just leave, flee and leave it, you know, and leave Gotham to itself while he tries to wean himself. He had no time. Nothing. He couldn't do it. Like you said, it took 50 years at that guy in the well. And Tanya, she spent centuries out in the woods before she was finally able to control it. Oh. Uh. You know what I mean? And um, things like that. She did, you know, it's like Batman could not afford to do that because of his own nature of wanting to protect Gotham. Yes, and without any, any and with Gotham being in the state that it is, it's, you yeah. know, at, 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 at this point, the, the, the Gotham is pretty much, now it's vampire free. And yep, oh yeah, now it left. is. Yeah. And it's Batman. Yeah, and then... Crimson Mist is the last last part yep, of the where, where more of the villains show up. Yes. What were uh, they while well, this was happening? Yep, now I will say this. The romance with Bruce and Selena actually makes some sense when you take out his desperation. This you know what I mean, right? Like this it's not this is one of those cases where it's very short, you know, of a relationship, like he's already loving her, but given everything he's going through and what she's helping him with. It makes sense for him to love her because of the benefits he's been getting from being near her. Yeah, that's like true. Like, his mind is, you know... Yeah. 
That, like, that normally I would have said, normally I would have said, oh, this is a forced relationship. Oh, this is too rushed. No, no. Here, it makes perfect sense. I agree that it makes sense, at least for the for the duration of the story that they have here. Like, yeah. If, if we would break a look at that, how long would it have lasted if Selena wasn't killed? I think it would have lasted forever. If, if mm. being a werewolf made her immortal. Hmm. If it made her immortal, it would have lasted forever, I think. Yes. But then also that, that Selena had the motivation for also to keep to, to find and hunt down Kretsch. There yep. would have probably been some aftermath in it after that. And yeah, but I think she would have cared. Uh, she, she was yeah, loving it him could by be this also point. the value dissonance that, 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 that and how times mm-hmm. have changed. Like, and would she have been? perfectly okay with with the rest of her existence just being Batman's uh, calm, calmer. I think, given how he helped her too by being close to her, I think so. Because I do not feel this was a Selena who saw him as a means to an end. I oh, think yeah. she saw him as a confidant. This yeah. is a Selena who clearly was kind to everyone. This is not a Selena who feels like, eh, the world screwed me and I want to take things back. No, no. She never got to that point. Yeah, yeah, that makes m- b- much better look at like, like the like the modern writers have not really taken that taken this aspect that Selena had in this story and pretty much like have like, turned it into an on-off switch. A bit yeah, based on how the story well, to be fair, on. given her upbringing, it makes sense for it to be an on-off switch. Mm. I do think it makes sense because some people do that in their lives; they just turn it on and off. Well, it's kind of maybe it, it depends on the variety of li- oh, life yeah. that, that you go through. Like, like there needs to be some change in life. It, it can't be the same all the time, right? Like, uh, how many stories that have been that have been with Batman and Catwoman where that where it where they end up together and the, and it and, and it actually manages to that go is quo. Through. Yes, yep. Well, to oh. be fair, ever since Batman Hush, that's the moment when in canon it became a regular relationship once she found out who he was. Mm. Or it, it was given the potential of being right the the, the 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 proper relationship. Yep, but I will also say this: I think do you think if Batman, if Selena hadn't died, and once they took out the last vampire, do you think Batman would continue on a vamp- as a, a vam- you know as a vampire, or do you think he would have left Gotham for its own self while he tried to wean himself? Do you think he would have done that? It would be probably something like a. Like the, maybe our next natural step, like if he, like that, he didn't need to kill. If Selena had not died, he would not have killed Joker, and would not have eventually gotten corrupted uh, uh, entirely. Yeah. So it would be possible. And with Gotham now being vampire free, and yep. it will, it will eventually be, gain it, gain the villains. Oh, uh, villains. Well, he would have come back for those, yeah. but yeah. with Selena at his side, he probably yeah. could have handled them a lot better. Yeah. Until that, that he could have, could have probably withdrawn himself uh, to help elsewhere and tried to go as long as possible he could without blood and uh, and, yep, re- and exactly. maybe gone, gone to re- and have Selena done. be there as his backup in case he came back and was thirsty, mm. like in case he weakened, like yeah. But overall, now the artwork on this this was the most grotesque of the artwork until the next one. But feel like the if you know that the gore increases with each installment yes that goes uh, it's the gore and uh, and most of the detail and styles different inker here mm. okay but i want to say this though the coloring was good i still enjoy the coloring on this the next one books coloring not so much yeah the coloring could also be another thing that, that makes or breaks uh, breaks the art drawn by drawn and inked by other people Mm-hmm. Exactly. Exactly. Like, is it painted a color or, or wooden yeah, color or, or ink something color? Like that. But yeah. But again, overall, though, this is my favorite of the trilogy, and it could have ended right here. It could have been a two-parter. Yes. By the, going by the I, rules that the, going by the rules that the story has established so far, like like the stake to the heart and. the Yep. And, and, and there's no coming back. But, but if you notice, though, they never—they don't ever do the turning to ash or anything. Never here. And if you notice, except with Dracula. 
except was Dracula, but that was like a, he was the most damned of all. Hmm. And, but yeah, except was Dracula, but if you also notice though, everyone else who's been staked is, um, is, and like had their heads chopped off. Yes. That was all. all, 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 all. But they never it made that clear been. until later. I think that's why they decided. And there's a bigger gap. This had a shorter gap between sequels. But two and three had a much bigger gap. Mm. Yeah. So, like, so I think three ended up being a case of like, well, let's do one more story as opposed to what happened next. Mm. And it kind of shows in the next one. The next one, it definitely shows as a case of let's just do the net. You know, you know what I mean, right? Like, oh. Yeah, let the, let let the release the beast and 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 let and and do the Let's flip the dog of war. <laughs> oh. Yeah, but again, it's still a good finale when we get to it. But this was the peak of the trilogy, definitely. This had a story we wanted to tell, and it ended on a good note, tragically yeah. for Batman, yeah. but without people... tainting his career. Yes. The middle of the story in, in trilogies is, also, is usually pretty much the best story because the first part uh, part sets up everything. The second mm-hmm. part builds up on it. And the third one is then pretty much, yeah, let's do one, do one more. Mm-hmm. But I will say this about the third But the funny thing about the third one is it's the one that most people utilize for how they handle vampire Batman. Aivan, aivan. I, I mean, yeah, that, that's what Murder wants to do. Even I was killed about that That when I... Uh, it was uh, somewhat uh, eight or nine years ago when I was still working fan fiction. I, I had this one mm-hmm. pretty much where, where I... It was still before Batman v Superman had come out, but I tried to do this kind of crossover with the mm-hmm. uh, Nolan trilogy and, oh. uh, the, and, the, and the DCEU before it... It was published right. as the way how we know it as we, right. we pretty much with a, with a Justice League and uh, and uh, right. crossing over with the Nolan trilogy, and uh, it, it it actually involved pretty much also like all the live action Batman that that were in that had been since then, mm-hmm. including the David Mazzo's Gotham Bruce Wayne who was nipped ah. from the moment his parents were killed, and right. in between where there where there were people some like scientist people in. In the, in the Nolan verse, trying to figure out a uh, gateway between the worlds, the vampire Batman came out uh, at one point there too, and and pretty much just oh, went in a in a in a semi kind of rampage until he saw the well Anne Hathaway's Catwoman come down or some some for a, for a some moment before being pushed mm-hmm. back into the board into the portal he came out of. Right, but yeah, yeah. but. Like I said, though, but that is when people think about Vampire Batman, it's always the one from the third one. Even mm. although they might give him more meat on his bones compared to being the skeleton, <laughs> but, we, uh. but we'll get to we'll see that when we go over that on the next one. Yeah, that's uh, the, so. Yeah, the next time we will wrap up this Vampire the Vampire trilogy with Crimson I Missed. We'll see you guys then. And Take may care. your heart be your guiding key. Mm-hmm.